Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that time again, another DVD review. This time, we're going to talk about not only just a DVD, but also we're going to talk about a little bit of a CD that I originally owned that a couple of uh, years back, and I'm surprised no one originally remembered this group. I'm, of course, really just talking about The Band from Making the Band Season 1 and 2. Today, I am trying to be reviews. Welcome back. Okay, well, well let's start out basically about originally, um, for instance, let's talk about this group. Now, um, I know people have never heard of this group before, and basically no one ever heard of this probably ever again. For some reason, I have no idea originally from this kind of group that never had been busy being popularity until the mid-2000s. I mean, there were popularity to MTV. I mean, if you probably American recognize them, through um, called uh, TV show MTV's TV show called the Making the Band, when PD is basically you know offering a bunch of uh, strangers who could be offering being as a as a uh, bad boy group, which when it comes to to me uh, basically of this group the band they weren't really quite popularity. I mean they were popularity to the time originally when um when they released their first original album uh, Too Hot for TV. Now to be to be fair in mind, Richie, this album is maybe not the best Richie album, but it's probably be okay, Richie, for some people who listen to all this rap and um, hip hop music, Richie. But this is basically mixed all together. Cause you have a little bit of R and B towards it, you have a little bit of towards of a soul music towards it, Richie, because the album itself is kind of like a story uh, of the group. Tell them about their own background story, why they basically chose to be the group. Because if you really look at towards the DVD version, this is the complete first season version. This is basically the, this, um, the complete first season of Making the Band. And it's not actually called Making the Band 2, it's actually called Making the Band. So originally at the time originally when, um, when the show got popular to MTV, they really kind of uh, have the group be on originally on natural tel be on live on natural television and actually go to their personal uh, lives and everything and try to convince us that originally now uh, there's more originally towards basically just uh, this this being a group. I mean the group is suffer here. They just basically just hate on each other. Now to bear in mind you and if no one ever heard this show before, um, I'll give you a little bit of uh, info originally in a for towards the beginning. So in the beginning originally in the show, we get to see PDD try to um, sign on originally uh, a bunch of people who want to be in the band, which starts off originally with a bunch of uh, strangers trying to make a big kick originally on stage and trying to have that, you know, a fame originally in their lives. And towards the uh, middle, towards, towards the end of the, of the show of the first season, we get to see the group. Which is basically we have Sarah Stoke, if we could have Sarah Stoke, um, Dylan, uh, Enes, uh, Chopper, uh, I think Frylon, and I think Babs, of course. So basically, um, from the entire group version of the Nation, they just basically start to become the first ever uh, bad boy, PD's, PD's bad boy group. Uh, um, group. Yeah, but <laughs> I just can't talk right now, but. Anyway, um, throughout the course of season two, they started to really get along to each other. They started really trying to um, compare themselves to each other, um, very well. But they always kind of have a hate towards each other because, um, for instance, um, I think one episode, I think when Frylon and I think Enes originally had a problem working together because Richard for Frylon, he's more as a dirty South uh, artist originally while you look at... Um, Enes is more as a soul, uh, uh, 
so group of artists who basically trying to find himself originally a lot more different than uh, the other uh, group members. So yeah, about that originally. I don't know I don't know much about it I can say about it, but through the time originally when I was watching it, um, through that from season one to season two to all the way to season three, uh, you get this feeling, well, actually to season half of base of season two, where we get to see the group actually finally release their first Mitchell Post their first album, which is this one. Too hot for TV. So originally we get the glare right here. So this is it right here. This is their first ever album. And I have to say, Richard, this is actually pretty well good Richard artwork. I will give you some introductions of the inside of, of the CD album and based on the DVD itself. A little bit uh, towards this video. But the only thing I kind of really was odd about this, sh about, about this group is because they always kind of hate each other so much. And they always have so much arguments with each other. Like, I think in... Um, I think in one episode when I think one of the group had a discussion about smoking, and that would be Sarah Stowe, uh, which she just, which she's basically the only R&B singer originally in the group, and she had a different, had a really politic of um, really interesting, of, well, very conditive of smoking because the other group members were smoking in the base of the course of that episode, and she had a big conditive issue with with them just trying to. Uh, smoking the room so much and everything, but f for this time, people smoke. I mean, I know a lot of uh, non-smokers who go smoking, just basically, you know, some people don't care for smoking. I think that's just basically, um, really just the center of what uh, some people really don't care for. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just what else? Uh, well, as episode I should just kind of remember. Uh, uh, there was one episode when they actually tried to release their second album, but never got around the chance of doing it. So for some reason, and for all the hatred and all the anger and all the basically the this drama in that show, towards the, towards the end, what PD did is it's basically fire them. <laughs> this script of this fire their originally uh, this sorry butts off versus towards the bad boy company and. Because it wasn't really be as a group. It wasn't really visually as a group. Now, for this version right here, this is explains why originally that they never really make this up a second album. Because when you're making yourself to be as a group, uh, a band, a boy band, the friends is a, uh, for in sync. You know, they were basically boy, they were boy group band who had a fame and had that originally, you know, conquer of a, a fame and fortune. But what they did originally, but here, they just basically, here for the uh, the band, they just basically argued and argued for basically just uh, days or until days or even months or something just to try to discuss about what they want to do and how they're supposed to promote this stuff originally as a group, as a professional group to knowing they are doing this for the fans and voices from the company. Because originally a bad boy um, company is a very serious company because PD does take his job very professional uh serious and actually really take it a whole new um generation from more other lead singers and artists to try to take over take it to the company and you know with the music industry being you know kind of a more as basically just a a, a super artist or anything it's about really trying to find the right the right person who can actually really take an album to a whole new level, you know, just really just make it seem like it's actually really good and actually really stands out. And I don't know, I actually found them pretty interesting to listen to. And actually, originally with the DVD is with the base of the first season, I actually had no problem originally seeing them originally in the very first season. But because they they just basically got started originally from from the beginning towards the end. So yeah, this is just really kind of something about this group and. I've been having these originally for so long. I'll tell you what the price is. I'll tell you what the, how much I got these for from and how I got them originally from a cheaper price, but I'll tell you that later. So I did talk about a little bit about the history. I did talk about a little bit about the uh, the background of their um, their so-called lives, which I guess, and talk about the album, of course. And that's pretty much it. Now you can actually see what it looks like inside, and I hope it gives you the context. So let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so I just basically put the camera version a little bit angle so you guys can see it properly. 
so you can see the basic motion picture. So first off, let's start off with basically you know, with the DVD. So let's put this in the side. Give you a nice good version of the close up of the basic album itself. Now you have all the group. You have let's see where where I'm at. Okay, you have Sarah Stoke. You have Dylon. You have uh, Enes. You got uh, Chopper, the youngest one. This is the youngest rapper version he is, and he's probably much more older than he is now. Uh, you got Frylon, and you got Babs. So we'll give you a nice, good, nice, good, nice, good picture of it, of the entire group. It's actually called the best of where is it? Best of season one. So this is actually the complete first season. The reason why it says the best of season one because some of the episodes are quite missing. So whatever MTV did. They kind of really chop up some of the episodes. But I actually heard originally for some people, this is actually the complete first season. So if you really want to basically get this version, get the complete first season. I'm pretty sure you can probably find some episodes which are missing on YouTube or some kind of a, a way you can basically find. So we got to turn around here. We got the spine corn that says making the band two. Best of season one. It's actually basically made by Columbia Pictures and actually produced with it by MTV. And we do it on the back. We got pretty much a nice good info of the show itself. So you got the this is basically uh some of the uh members, some of the uh basically artist members who have appeared on the show which in the first season. And on the top of the vision you got pretty much pretty much you got a pretty good incentive of uh uh Features on the top, and yeah, I'm originally can't see Where's that. Yeah, ah, there we go. There we go. That's more better. So you got a nice version of uh, artwork in the back. Got the uh, where is it? The features, and it is basically standard. It is basically the, it runs 94 minutes, so it's a pretty well longer step with the uh, uh, complete first season. So we open it up. We got a nice art disc artwork of itself. Then we got an in, uh, information info uh, information of all the episodes, episode one to eleven. So we get a nice clear of it. Yeah, there we go. So you guys really pretty interesting of episodes of all eleven episodes and kind of with one disc. And if we open the insert. You got nice other DVDs from Mesa for MTV. I'm surprised which the MTV does really do certain DVDs uh, archives from different kind of shows. They actually did something like that from the Jersey show uh, from the Jersey Show season, and then with the popular show version, I don't know why people really preferred uh, Jersey Shore than Mesa did this show because I actually found this show very interesting, and I was glad which they I had kept this over the years. So let's put that side right here. And then finally, yeah, let's do then finally we go to their first ever album. Yes, this is their first album, Too Hot for TV. And I have to say originally, it is basically a, um, a parent advance uh, album because there's a little bit of uh, swearing originally. There's a little bit of swearing originally towards this album. So let's get a little closer. There we go. And we look at the back. You got a ton of base of, of songs. Nice Richard uh picture art Richard from in um I think it's basically in New York City. Yeah, from New York City. And when we open up, we got a nice let me give you the give you a new there we go. Got a nice Richard artwork on the disc. I actually found the disc which a really good separate artwork because you got you got the uh, the group stage name, and you get all the artists which are on basically one separate album. They all cram up into this one separate disc. That's what I love about that because that is pretty. There's a good sort of artwork, and in addition to that, you got this cool booklet. Let me close this up. Put this inside right here so you can see the album. There we go. And you get this cool booklet. And you probably know why this is the uh, what is the uh, warning sign. It's right attached to the That's just it's a sticker label. I don't know what that is, but for some stupid reason, 
whoever does design the uh the album kind of put this stick put the label on the CD case. It's like just a sticker to it so you can actually peel it off or something. But I didn't want to peel it off because I didn't want to basically ruin the uh the contents of, of the uh, CD itself. So anyway, you got this cool booklet. And with the booklet, you can flip it around towards the side. The book is loaded with nice, good and artwork with different artists. And they got originally the most particular of the soundtracks, of, I mean, uh, uh, tracks of the album itself. So you have, let me go back here. So you got Young Chopper, Young City, and you got Babs. She looks so gorgeous, actually. She looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That's just so. That's just stunning. Good um, picture. Um, that's just stunning. Good um, photograph. It's actually a glossum uh, booklet, which is pretty cool. So you got Young City, aka Young Chapa. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I kind of like really just love this uh, this booklet. Flip to the side. We got Ines. On the half of his uh, body, and you got Sarah Stowe. I actually find she looks so gorgeous. This she actually looks so stunning. This is a time when she got beat up by her husband. <laughs> yeah, she got brutally beat, um, beaten, beaten and bruised, and charged her husband Richard by assault with a certain battery. So for some reason, before she took this photo, Richard, before they actually released their first album, she actually got pretty much probably beat up. Richard, you could go on certain websites. And actually, and actually, we look at some photos of Sarah Stoker versus how she was looking um, through the time when she left the group. So, but yeah, but she looks so gorgeous. She looks so stunningly gorgeous. I don't know why I say that, but she looks stunning versus in this photograph. Move along, we have Dylon and Frylon. A little bit versus him, I guess, just posing this up, like, I guess. So you got dive on and a nice good sort of, uh, photograph. And once again we have Sarah Stone. Stunning look good, gorgeous. Then you got another fry line uh, photograph. And it goes on and on and on. So let me so you got another picture of Babs and Fry and uh, Chopper. Let me give it a closer look like that. I mean, this is actually an awesome good book booklet because it got very nice good um, information info version of the of the group members and just one slick book I mean come on and on the back and then the final page you've got this basically the, all the group together in black and white and you got motion other albums from bad boy and the final page you've got the entire group originally in the background black background but all the group is together, just basically just hanging out or chilling, whatever you guys call it. <laughs> Whatever you young people, young viewers out there, which we just say is that we're just chilling. <laughs> and that's pretty much basically about that. Um, there's no really uh, artist lyrics or anything like that. Just basically three people show um, uh, good specific photos and originally some of the information of the group itself. And how it look it all together when basically you just come back as well. Let me show you. See if we put this like that. And it looks like this. Boom. Well, the only thing we're about the CD case is actually this is it's it's the jewelry case while the DVD case and it actually is the DVD casing. But if you flip it like this, you got like an awesome good sort of of half of the making the band. And it's pretty well interesting to have it. Yeah. So Definitely worth it for, for anybody who watched the show and actually remember Richard on MTV. And prop. I'm surprised the show was canceled, Richard, for some damn reason. And they still continue. I think they're running for like, I think, nine seasons, I believe. So that's how it look. The band. And so there you go. Make it the band, the band, on Melba now on DVD and CD for many stores around the Richard, I think, Richard. I think you can probably find these Richard at Amazon. Um, I've been having these versions for probably so long ago um, through very contemporary video stores and CD stores.
and they were basically selling these originally they were selling these originally they were selling the basically the first motion picture um album for i think probably like 1999 which was the first release when did this came out uh i know it came out in 2000 i believe this came out in 2000 yeah 2003 so this came out originally before the time originally when the show came on the air and for the TV and the DVD itself, let's see, this came out in 2000, 2002. So this came for prime after when the album was when they first released their first motion picture album. So to my knowledge, I really had no problem. I enjoy Risen Marathon, all the episodes, and Marathon with the, with the music itself. I mean, it's just actually it's not really uh, a true meaning of uh, music. But if you kind of like, if you're like me and you just like music in the general, the ge generally, then I recommend you know the band would probably recommend you. But just for fun, to warn you, uh, there are some certain cuss words in basically in, in some of the um, um, the album itself. But for everything else, I have to say for what it's worth, I think you know, Pity Didi. I mean, um, Pity Didi really made the group really something, but. For some reason, they just kind of like just based on hating on each other and just basically just go off of each other. I mean, it's just like, it would be great if they actually come back and doing a second album, but uh, yeah. That's just basically how, it, that's just basically how when you're basing a, a, a musician or whatever, you're kind of just basically just knowing that you can't make things really happen. So, yeah. But anyway, I actually found it pretty interesting to enjoy. And, I would enjoy all the stuff. I would enjoy all the stuff, Richard. The marathon, watching the TV show itself, along with basically with the album that's, that's along with it. So, if you want something that really kind of uh, spice up a little bit, go with making the band or the band, if you call it. And then just understand, it's just not. It's not really just the the group itself. It's about the music, Richard. It's about really listening to the proper music, Richard. The people don't really care for. I mean, I know people who listen to other kinds of music, like for, for instance, Lil Wayne. I mean, for God's sake, he's basically trying to make tons of money with his for his album. Uh, what else was there? Who else artists do I have basically I can name of? Um, well, there's like a lot of artists, for sure, but I don't know. I just really found uh, the group that this, I found the group very interesting to listen to. And, and I don't know, it's just, it just really just kind of camperate uh, me as a, as a viewer and as a basically, as a um, convincing um, collector, as I, as I say, I enjoy it because it just really just stands out really very much. And there's really no comparison I can say much about it. It's just one of the greatest uh, uh, music I ever listened to and one of the greatest DVDs, uh, TV shows I ever watched or on MTV because it was probably the prime time when, when I got involved watching other formats of TV shows on MTV, other TV, other TV shows on on MTV before this came along. So, yeah, definitely worth visiting for a lot. Some of the fans out there who listen to the band and actually really kind of care. Or something. I know people who didn't care for this group, didn't really know they were very taking their life seriously. But I thought they did recently, and I thought they really did a pretty much a brilliant job. And I would like to see them back again to really hopefully work their problems out and try to make a second album, but, you know, it just never happens. Never happens. Well, I pretty much into the, this uh, review. I really wanted to basically do a CD and a DVD review at the both and simultaneously because it's just the idea. Because like I said, I'm trying to come up with some ideas of my episodes and just explain about originally in, on the form. But for everything else, I have to say that was pretty much really something. This is really something I have to really be proud of. And yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to do this. <laughs> Doing two at a time and saving items with one separate video. Yeah, that's pretty well kind of interesting. Alrighty, so that ends the meeting for you now. So until next time, thank you for watching. And sign out. interjections of the inside of, of the CD album and based on the DVD itself a little bit uh, towards this video but the only thing I kind of really was odd about this sh about about this group is because they always kind of hate each other so much 
and they always have so much arguments with each other. Like I think in, uh, I think in one episode when I think one of the group had a discussion about smoking, and that would be Sarah Stowe. Uh, which she just, which she's basically the only R and B singer originally in the group, and she had a different, had a really politic of um, really interesting, well, very conditive of smoking, because the other group members were smoking in the base of the course of that episode, and she had a big conditive issue with with them just trying to uh, smoke in the room so much and everything, but f for this time, people smoke. I mean, I know a lot of uh, non-smokers who that go smoking just basically. But some people don't care for smoking. I think that's just basically um, really just the center of what uh, some people really don't care for. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just what other so well as episode I should just kind of remember. Uh, there was one episode when they actually trying to release their second album, but never got around the chance of doing it. So for some reason. And for all the hatred and all the anger and all the basically the this drama in that show towards the, towards the end, what PD did is it's basically fire them. <laughs> this script of this fire their originally uh, this sorry butts off versus towards the bad boy company and because it wasn't really be as a group. It wasn't really visually as a group. Now for this version right here, this is explains why originally that they never really make this up a second album. Because when you're making yourself a... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that time again, another DVD review. This time, we're going to talk about not only just a DVD, but also we're going to talk about a little bit of a CD that I originally owned that a couple of uh, years back. And I'm surprised no one originally remembered these group. I'm, of course, really just talking about... The Band. From Making the Band, Season 1 and 2. Today, I am trying to be reviews. Welcome back. Okay, well, well, let's start out basically about originally, um, for us, let's start off with this group. Now, um, I know people have never heard of this group before, and basically no one ever heard of this probably ever again. For some reason, I have no idea originally from this kind of group that never had been busy being popularity until the mid-2000s. I mean, they were popularity to MTV. I mean, if you probably remember, recognize them, through um, called uh, TV show MTV's TV show called the Making the Band, when PD is basically you know offering a bunch of uh, strangers who could be offering being as a as a uh, bad boy group, which what comes to to me uh, basically of this group the band they weren't really quite popularity. I mean they were popularity to the time originally when um when they released their first original album uh, Too Hot for TV. Now to be to be fair in mind, Richie, this album is maybe not the best Richie album, but it's probably okay, Richie, for some people who listen to all this rap and um, hip hop music, Richie. But this is basically mixed all together. Cause you have a little bit of R and B towards it, you have a little bit of towards of uh, soul music towards it, Richie, because the album itself is kind of like a story uh, of the group. Tell them about their own background story, why they basically chose to be the group. Because if you really look at towards the DVD version, this is the complete first season version. This is basically the, this, um, the complete first season of Making the Band. And it's not actually called Making the Band 2, it's actually called Making the Band. So originally at the time when, um, when the show got popularity to MTV, they really kind of uh, have the group... Be on originally on natural tel be on live on natural television and actually go to their personal uh, lives and everything and try to convince us originally. Now, uh, there's more originally towards basically just uh, this this being a group. I mean, the group is suffer here 
they just basically just hate on each other. Now, to bear in mind you, and if no one ever heard this show before, um, I'll give you a little bit of uh, info, virtually, in a, for towards the beginning. So in the beginning, originally, in the show, we get to see PDD try to um, sign on, originally, uh, a bunch of people who want to be in the band, which starts off, originally, with a bunch of uh, strangers trying to make a big kick, originally, on stage and trying to have that, you know, that fame, originally, in their lives. And towards the uh, middle, towards, towards the end of the of the show of the first season, we get to see the group, which is basically we have Sarah Stoke. If we could have Sarah Stoke, um, Dylan, uh, Enes, uh, Chopper, I uh, think Frylon, and I think Babs, of course. So basically, um, from the entire group version of the Nation, they just basically start to basically become the first ever uh, bad boy PD PD's bad boy group. Uh, um, group, yeah, but <laughs> I just can't talk right now, but anyway, um, throughout the course of season two, they started to really get along to each other, they started really trying to, um, compare themselves to each other, um, very well, but they always kind of have a hatred towards each other, because, um, for instance, um, I think one episode, I think when Frylon and I think Enes originally had a problem working together, because Richard for Frylon, he's more as a dirty south uh, artist. Richard, while you look at um, Enes, it's more as a so uh, uh, so group of artists who basically trying to find himself originally a lot more different than uh, the other uh, group members. So yeah, about that, Richard. I don't know, Richard. I don't know much about. It, I can say about it, but through the time, Richard, when I was watching it, um, through that from season one to season two. To all the way to season three, uh, you get this feeling. Well, actually, to season half of base of season two, when we get to see the group actually finally release their first Mitchell Post, their first album, which is this one, Too Hot for TV. So I originally gonna get the glare right here. So this is it right here. This is their first ever album, and I have to say, Richard, this is actually pretty well good Richard artwork. I will give you some me as a group. Uh, a band, a boy band, the friends is a uh, for in sync. You know they were basically boy, they were boy group band who had a fame and had that originally you know conquer of a, a fame and fortune. But what they did originally, but here they just basically here for the uh, the band they just basically argued and argued for basically just uh, days or until days or even months or something just to try to discuss about what they want to do. And how they're supposed to promote this stuff as a group, as a professional group, to knowing they are doing this for the fans and voices from the company. Because originally, a bad boy um, company is a very serious company because PD does take his job very professional, uh, serious, and actually really take it a whole new um, generation from more other lead singers and artists to try to take over take it to the company and you know with the music industry being you know kind of a more as basically just a a, a superlative artist or anything it's about really trying to find the right the right per person who can actually really take an album to a whole new level you know just really just make it seem like it's actually really good and actually really stands out and I don't know I actually found them pretty interesting to listen to and actually originally with the DVD is with the base of the first season, I actually had no problem originally seeing them originally in the very first season, but because they they just basically got started originally from from the beginning towards the end. So yeah, this is just really kind of something about this group, and I've been having these originally for so long. I'll tell you what the price limit. I'll tell you what the how much I got these were from, and how I got them originally from a cheaper price. But I'll tell you that later. So I did talk 